Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Austin and today I will show you how to make vocals similar to the style of Kevin Parker from Tame Impala. So uh, he has a very distinct sound. It's very luscious you'd say, melodic. Definitely check out Tame Impala if you get a chance. It's really great. So he recently released a single called Borderline and it's very disco-y type sound. I actually kind of made a little bit of a demo just to show you how he does his vocals. Well, as close as possible that I've gotten. So let's go ahead and open up Logic Pro, which is actually a app that you can download from the App Store for MacBook. It's kind of expensive, but um, a good starter point would be GarageBand, and you can work your way up to Logic. So this is what we have for Borderline. Check it out. there we have it sort of a demo you can actually listen to the original song and kind of gauge on how close I got but I feel like that's pretty close so all of these loops and machines that I've constructed and bass lines and vocals are all stuff that I kind of made from scratch based on the idea of the song so let's dive right into the vocal part which I'm sure everyone is excited to finally figure out exactly how he does it or close to it so first you might want to YouTube a video on which mics to use and which audio preamps and how to set all of those things up on your MacBook so that you are ready to go to make vocals. So just a quick overview on how I do it is I have a Blue Bluebird, Blue's the company, very great microphone, I love it, very affordable, and then I run it through a USB preamp and one of the most famous ones that people like to use is the Focusrite made by Scarlett and I have the solo one because I don't need that many channels you can look it up it's a little red box oh that was a loud truck all right anyway so let's begin with the vocals so let's listen to the vocals dry with nothing on them no effects so let's go to this channel that I have and take out all the vocals that I've uh, effects that I've been using just get rid of all of that so here are the dry vocals. Well, one channel of it. Gone a little far, gone a little far this time for something. How was I to know? How was I to know this dark emotion? You can kind of tell it sounds different because it's very dry. Nothing has been applied to these vocals. Very dry, very basic. But um, So yeah, start out with that. So when you make vocals and you don't think they're up to par or there's one part that you don't quite like in regards to pitch, you can always just double click on your vocals, turn on this flex uh, button and you want to make sure it's on flex pitch it will process your vocals and if you space it out these are all of your vocals right here so if there's something you don't like if the pitch is off you can always just change one like that and then it'll be different so it's kind of a cheater method but it works for these vocals so another trick that he does is vocal doubling. So basically what that is is singing one part all the way through and then creating a new channel and singing the exact same part like this. So I sang the exact same part and here's how it sounds doubled up. 
Gone a little far, gone a little far this time for something. How was I to know? How was I to know this dark emotion? All right, so that is the first trick that goes well with this style of music. So let's dive into this. So after you've done vocal doubling, which is what Tame Impala uses a lot, um, you're going to want to go to the mixer where your vocals are, which is right here. I have everything turned off. So after you've done vocal doubling, you're going to want to use a compressor. So you'll add a new one like this. I already have it loaded up right here. It'll be in Dynamics, Compressor, Stereo. So you'll go ahead and open this and it will be default like this. I have tweaked these two knobs to sort of compress the vocals as in cutting off the highs to make the lows and highs a little more equal. And it really helps in a mix if you want the vocals to stand out and also not drown. Well, not drown, but like go underneath the mix. You won't be able to hear it. So um, you might want to try this style. This point, this point. That's a good starting point for mashing your vocals down so that they are a little more consistent. So let's hear how they sound with the compressor. Gone a little far, gone a little far this time for something. If you didn't hear it, I can go ahead and have both of them on, and I will turn the compressor on and off. Gone a little far, gone a little far this time for something. How was I to know? How was I to know this time? All right, there you have it. Compression done. All right, the next thing he likes to use is reverb. So you can also find reverb right here, platinum. I like to use that one. So let's go ahead and open it up. So you're going to want my settings to be your settings here with wetness, room size, and reverb time. These are the three main pieces that I use. You can always use the rest of the stuff for more intricate um, functionality, but um, for the most part, you're going to want to use these three things right here. Just go ahead and match these settings. You can tweak it any way you want to make it the way that you'd like it to sound, but this is a good starting point for Tame Impala vocals. So let's go ahead and hear it with the reverb. Gone a little far, gone a little far this time for something. Very wet. All right, so let's move on to the next part, which is stereo delay, which is something that makes your vocals, I guess in a way, sound psychedelic. But um, what basically what it does is it takes your vocals and it creates copies of it like echo effect and it just makes it feel more like multiple people are singing it and it makes the mix very glued together when it comes to vocals and music being put together so let's go ahead and open it up it would be in delay stereo delay stereo right there let's go ahead and turn it on open it up so you're gonna want my settings to be your settings again so go ahead and match all this right here and you can tweak it to how much echo you want but this seems to be a good setting right around here so make sure this is all matched all right so let's hear how it sounds with the delay on it let's do some new part of the vocals We're on the borderline, caught between the tides of fate and rapture. Possibly a sign, I'm gonna have the strangest night. All right, there you go. Next step, done. All right, 
So the next part would be EQing. So EQing can make your vocal mix muddier, crispier. However you want it to sit in the song is entirely up to you. But if you want them to stand out right in front and add to the melody of the song, you're going to want them to be crispy and you're going to want to take out the lower end of the spectrum, the bassiness, take out a little bit of it so your vocals aren't messing around with the drums and the kick. You want it to be very dynamic, crispy, without ruining the lower end of the spectrum here on the song. And so you're going to want to take the crispier part, the higher frequencies, and boost it up. It'll probably be like this. You're going to want it around here. And I will show you how it sounds and how this equalizer works. So let's go ahead and show you that. We're on the borderline Between the tides of fate and rapture Possibly a sign I'm gonna have the strangest night all right, and there you have it. Those are the four main components, including vocal doubling, make that five, different little things you can do to make your vocals sound like Kevin Parker from Tame Impala. So why don't you take a listen to this part of the song and tell me how you think it compares to Kevin's vocals. There we go. Right, and there you have it if you have any questions just let me know just give a little comment just tell me anything that you think I did wrong or any questions that you have about logic pro just let me know thank you and have a good day bye